amid the cheering, there is increasingly strident criticism of the United States. VOA's Sharon Ben has more on that from Cairo. It was the largest gathering of the week. Thousands of people, including families with their children, crowded into Tahrir Square one more time. This time, says dentist Dalia Ezeldin, the crowds are celebrating the country's second revolution, the military's ouster of President Mohamed Morsi. I am here to encourage our army and our uh, Egyptian uh, and um, to support our revolution. It's not a cop, it's a revolution. <laughs> The military deployed troops in the streets on fears of more violence. Earlier in the day, Muslim Brotherhood supporters also took to the streets, demanding that Mr. Morsi be returned to the presidency. The military has arrested the top leadership of the Brotherhood, something Nagi Abdel Rasul welcomes. They belong in jail. I hope you tell the world that this is a revolution. It's not a military coup. It's a revolution of a nation that has been tired for a full year that is paying the price now. It was the biggest mistake in Egypt's history that they elected the Muslim Brotherhood to power. is growing at the apparent lack of support by U.S. President Barack Obama, who has said Washington does not back any particular Egyptian party or group. They are supporting their interests, and their interest is with the Muslim Brotherhood, because of course there are certain agendas that has happened. Egypt's military, which said it ousted Morsi in response to the will of the people, flew over the square to the cheers of thousands, sending a clear message to those below as well as to Morsi's supporters. But as night fell on the square, it was clear the anti-Morsi protesters were not going to give up what they say they have won. For VOA News, this is Sharon Bain in Cairo.